hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome to you if you're new here my name is Larato. i hope that you do stay guys and become a part of this online family for those who are returning guys thank you so much for your continued support thank you so much guys for the love that you showed on my previous video of the kitchen renovation i really do appreciate it and for the love that you showed to my so guys as per title of the video today we are doing a bathroom update a bathroom makeover i don't want to say renovation because i didn't renovate the bathroom um merely because for me i had two options it was either i renovate the bathroom or i renovate the kitchen and to be honest with you my priority was the kitchen and i think as you guys saw in the previous video like some parts of the kitchen cupboards were literally rotten guys so that for me took priority but however in the bathroom i did um tweak some things here and there that would make it a bit more comfortable for me and the boys so that's what i did with the bathroom um yeah so basically what i did change in the bathroom but um, you will see it in the video what i changed in the bathroom i changed the bathtub um it was dirty guys and you'll see as many times as i washed it there was some mark that looked like paint stain and it just wouldn't move and i feel like the quality yeah the bath tub itself was not actually good quality because when we moved it like you want some i don't know whether to say cracks or peels but yeah i just questioned the um, the quality of the bath so i'm glad that i did that and then the challenge that we had with changing the bathtub is that the new bathtub was a bit more steep as opposed to the old one and then it was more longer so my plumber was telling me that apparently the one that i had not apparently the one that i had that was in the bathroom was a 1.6 so the one that i bought was a 1.7 i think in length so it was a bit of a challenge to get it in and at the bottom of your bathtub there's a slab i didn't know that there's a slab at the bottom of your bathtub no? So they had to break that slab down into pieces so that that bath could fit inside that um, bracket for the bath because like i said it is it was quite steep so it was enough for the previous bath because it was it was short I man i don't know how to describe it and in this one when you go into the bath it's very steep you know so i hope you understand what i'm saying and then i also changed the toilet seat um the bath the toilet did have a, a toilet seat in it, but it was broken and wobbly. And then I, I threw away the, 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 the toilet cover. That was my first move because I can't sit on the toilet on that ceramic bowl. I can't do it. So I just kept that one for the meantime up until I could buy a toilet seat. And that's what I did. And then when I bought the toilet seat, obviously, I threw everything away. Um, so I'm happy about that. It makes a huge difference to me. I don't know about other people, but for me, it's actually a pet peeve when a toilet doesn't have like a toilet seat. Um, I don't know each to their own, but for me, it was just something that I couldn't tolerate. And then when it came to the shower, guys, the shower I got is next, to be honest with you. Um, but the two water knobs, um, the two water mixes um guys they do great my nipples to be honest with you um i don't i don't like the two um <clears throat> separate excuse me the two separate um water mixes i prefer one mixer in the shower but like i said um the shower is working perfectly so there was no need for me to change it um but my issue with my shower that i do have is that guys my shower leaks at the bottom you know at the bottom of the door and on the side so basically um over here and on the side on the side there by the toilet my shower leaks guys and understandably so it's not like it's a brand new house you know but um because for now i can so change you we tried to put silicone with my um plumber um it didn't make a difference guys it's still leaking i'm thinking maybe to take a toilet a rubber like just to maybe place at the bottom over there so if you do have suggestions as to what i can do with the 
pass through i mean with the shower i beg your pardon with the shower please do let me know please do drop your comments down below with your suggestions and then guys the the the, the bath tub the the bath tap name guys you know by the time that we installed this bath we were finished because you must remember that we came from the kitchen renovation we came from the tiling of the floors it was just a lot guys so when our plumber came shame he chuckled a bit he said no this is a kitchen sink um tap guys we had had it we were up to here and we just wanted like just to settle in so we were like you know what use that kitchen tap you are using that kitchen tap in that bathtub but yeah guys um that's what we did um we used the kitchen tap in the bath but i mean for me maybe it's because they get right you'd never say you'd never say guys and yeah and then i try to keep the toilet as minimal i mean the bathroom toilet shower room the bathroom as simple as possible um i don't like clutter guys um and i love the fact that we've got a big window in our bathroom and i also don't like clutter there by the windowsill so hence you'll see that i just put literally one flower um one full flower there one full plant um what is there to tell you the bathroom the bath yeah the bathroom cabinet i'm happy about i've got no complaints guys and then guys as for the bathroom the the bath tub um they did unfortunately crack the tiles a bit on the side so that i need to fix um the but, but you'll see at the top um row of tiles on the bathtub they are a bit destroyed not even a bit they destroyed they tried to save them but unfortunately they, there are still some bathroom accessories that i still want to buy like i still want to get my bathroom i mean i want to get my shower caddy i still want to change my toilet brush guys and that toilet brush guys i bought it um as an emergency buy because obviously i was gonna have people working in my house and obviously um i needed that um brush so i remember i think nikki look pep or nikki look china more i can show guys but i just i remember i was about to pay and i just grabbed it and i remember getting last minute how i'm gonna need it then i just grabbed it so for now it works i'm going to keep it but eventually i really do want to change it and just get things that will match up the bathroom i had bought a set the hand wash set the hand wash set so there's the hand wash um canister it was the it's the bath soap thingy and the toothbrush holder so but that um hand wash canister i put it in my kitchen because guys my sons do get a bit clumsy sometimes or careless and i mean let me not only blame my sons guys i mean little mistakes can happen guys you know so i rather move that i prefer that in the kitchen as opposed to in the bathroom then in the bathroom i just bought the plastic ones because the mistakes there it's a highlight guys and then the mirror guys let me tell you the mirror was never broken no um one of the days when my uncle was helping me with some stuff Shem, i think he kicked it by mistake and then the one in the other and then i don't know what happened to the other side and then the other side broke as well but at this point i was like you know what i want a mirror and it was nice and big and i didn't want to buy a mirror before i started with my renovations so i was just like you know what the next mirror it could go into when i renovate my bathroom so if i can use this one i'm going to use it i just washed it and i stuck it on like that guys i was just like you know what right now we are doing what works it's not about aesthetics it's about what works and if it works and it's in good condition then i will keep it so yeah you'll see guys it's just a bit of a spoiler alert but the mirror did break unfortunately but yeah i stuck it onto the wall like that with double double sided tape i beg your pardon and yeah it, it just evades that guys so yeah guys thank you so much for tuning into this video um but yeah guys enjoy please do like the video please do comment down below please and most importantly please do subscribe to the channel guys and also please do watch the video up until the end guys if maybe you feel like i was really interested can you please just let it play in the background just for my watch time purposes okay guys i'll see you next time bye for now so i've always known that i wanted to update the bathroom so i went to go buy some 
material for that the bathroom cabinet needed to be fixed so i bought a bathroom cabinet the sink and the tap and the pipe and the stopper came as a set um i bought the bath from cash build um with the tap inside there with the red sink and then guys the mirror that you see behind my mother's legs guys can you see that it was not broken but spoiler alert it gets broken at the end <laughs> yeah it gets broken at the end but yeah those are the things that i bought so guys here have some pictures from before of the bathroom cabinet can you see how water damaged it was guys it was so ugly it was dirty so it really needed to be changed and i couldn't bring myself to use it like this so hence i bought a new one and then the bathtub can you see guys the on the right the the tap was broken so yeah that's how my bathroom looked and the day that they started guys these guys were so fast can you see that they already removed the bathroom cabinet i even forgot to record the before it was cold i was uncomfortable yeah but anyway, they started and she met again, they tried to save the bath, hey. Um, so the bath that we bought was 1.7 meters and this bath was 1.6 meters and yeah, it was a bit long on the long side. But I'm not going to lie, they tried to save my tiles, guys, but we battled a bit because of the size of the bath. Eventually, they came right with taking out the bars. I was shocked to see what it looks like underneath the bath. It was quite scary. I actually wanted to um to clean inside, and the guy's like, "No, you don't clean inside." But uh, guys, this is what the kitchen cabinet looked like, guys. I can't stop looking at this. But can you see how dirty it was? And uh, guys, no matter how many times I wash that sink, the tilatele they decide to women, guys. I didn't understand why. But anyway, this was the bathroom cabinet. So when we checked the black thingy was leaking the black um pipe from the two taps was leaking for quite a long time hence it did so much water damage anyway guys never forget to we in tapata and um, they took it outside and um we were starting on a clean canvas now this is what the bath looked like guys can you see those marks i tried so hard to wash them but can you see that the bath is also like chipped there on the left i feel like the quality about was not like top quality um yeah guys this is some of the rubble and then one of those just putting in the handles for the new bath and like i mentioned this bath was quite long guys so it was so long but Jim, he managed to to come right without breaking the tiles on the far right so i'm happy about that and it's again guys i'm satisfied with this guy's work i've got no complaints guy and guys so mona what i was telling you the bath was very steep and that other one was like floating in the air so the slab that was underneath the bath they had to break it down into pieces so that they can push down the the bathtub guys and can you see that my tiles were somewhat still intact but Jim, eventually they had to this is my behind the scenes of my bathroom cabinet it looks beautiful guys um yeah so mona and asai feet he was just cutting it just to place the basin there he was making a hole for the basin and a hole for the tap to to run through but i don't think i i think i deleted the footage of the tap but anyway after that as you can see it's got a second hole there that second hole on your far right was for the tap um yeah guys so that's what was happening behind the scenes and then here they were done guys i couldn't wait also just to put on my bathroom cabinet and the weird thing guys can you see that there's a paper there um eventually we discovered that there was a very very thin layer of plastic that we had to unwrap more the bathtub i, I noticed that the other day with the boys when i was bathing them so at least yeah we managed to get that wrap off and then that blue paper also got removed and it was a plastic guys um when i was just cleaning and the guys were done yeah i've got no complaints guys this guy is so good and can you see that paper that i'm talking about on the left it got removed um 
The other day I was putting I was pouring water for the boys to bath and there was a bubble of plastic and then we just unwrapped it and that's when I realized Jorge, it had a very, very thin layer of plastic. So I'm happy about that because I couldn't even remove that paper. So I was just like, you know what? The more we bath it, the more it'll grow and eventually it will scrape off. So I was happy about that. Yeah guys, when I was just cleaning and um this is what the bath looked like when they were done. The bathroom looked like when they were done. They put silicone um, underneath that basin there and by the bathroom, by the bathtub. Yeah, guys, this is what it looked like and I was so happy about it. And then this was the day that I installed the bathroom um, table. You know, if there's one thing about me, guys, I don't know. Nah, I'm good with my hands. I'm good at fixing things. Well, I'd like to think I'm good at fixing things. So when I just DIY'd my toilet seat, I thought I was going to ask my uncle to do it for me. So, but yeah, this is what it looked like before, guys. I don't know. I just have a pet peeve of a toilet that doesn't close, that doesn't have a flap. Anyway, I got down to work. And um, yeah, this thing was actually quite simple, guys. You just unscrew the bottom and then why in Tamamodi. But it was a bit hard because... I don't know, in a little heart, I'm in bed, um, thingy. But eventually I came right. How nice are my legs, guys? <laughs> anyway, I came right, and then when I was just unscrewing the um, the screw, I don't know what they call it, but Leonard also gave me you know, a, a tough time, especially the one on the left. You know, the one on the left, I had to struggle, guys. I struggled for a good 15 minutes, but eventually I came right. Um... Yeah, it was quite dirty, so I decided just to give it a clean before get installing the um, the toilet seat. So yeah, guys, I wiped it down and then I used some detergent as well to to clean the the toilet before I put in the new toilet seat. Yeah, guys, and I also I can't use a toilet in that illusion to sit on the actual base. I honestly can't do that. But anyway, here I am installing the toilet seat. Guys, this thing was easy peasy. Literally, you put it through the holes and you start screwing at the bottom and bobs your ankle and you sort it, guys. So I'm happy with that. I was asking my son to give me the pins. I asked him to throw them at me because my hands were dirty. So I didn't want him to dirty his hands as well. So yeah, guys, I was just checking how it was in place. And I'm happy. This is what we look like afterwards. And yeah, my heart is very happy. Um, I decided to clean. Guys, also these essential oils, taco pep, they smell so good. And it was my first time putting them like mom eating. It's like, it's like, Yo, they smell so good. The house smelled so good for a good couple of days. Um, also, what I like about this um, bathroom cabinet is that I can literally clean underneath it, guys. So I'm happy about that as well. Um, yeah, guys. So that was just me cleaning before I did a final reveal for you <laughs> with the bathroom um, update. So welcome to my bathroom update guys, um, this is the final product of what my bathroom looks like and like I said the things that I could keep I kept and the things that I needed to be replaced I replaced them. Not too sure where to start but yeah that's my shower and yeah let's start by the shower guys, um, at the bottom there my shower leaks. At the bottom right my shower leaks there guys and we tried to put silicone when my plumber was here but it still leaks so if you've got any suggestions as to what i can do in the meantime because we change how to stop the leak please do suggest and also guys i don't like these knobs to the bath to the shower i like one shower mixer but otherwise it works perfectly the shower i've got no complaints about i mean there were holes there guys there were like okay there's holes there now but there were things that i just were random on the wall so i just asked my plumber to take them out otherwise that's my shower it's not the best looking but anyway it works guys that pink brush it was an emergency buy because there were so many people i never said it's a monna, so i had to have an emergency brush um and then this is what my corner looks like and i like the basket um idea as opposed to the pole 
um yeah guys and then on my windowsill i prefer just one simple thing i can't be like with that clutter so this was the bathroom and this was the bathtub like i said guys and they tried to save the tiles but unfortunately they had to break it and as you can see there on the far right the bath is quite longer and that bath is like 1.7 and the that one was 1.6 the one before but i love it guys i love this bath so much the the, the, the quality i think and then i try to keep candles in my bathroom but this one smells like nothing honestly guys this tap is a kitchen tap but you know by the time this guy showed us that it's a kitchen tap we all didn't have energy to go to cash bill to go change it so we we're like you know what you are going to use that like i said guys um i like keeping candles in the bathroom i like a bathroom that smells nice but eventually this one smells like nothing but when i do come right i want to buy maybe a candle that's a woody musky scent and um that soap also helps guys it, it has some sort of aroma it's the they tall soap so i love that and then guys the tower rack there was absolutely nothing wrong with it so i use it and then that far right um thingy there for the brushes and stuff i don't like it i just forgot to tell my plumber to take it out but this is what my bathroom cabinet looks like guys i love everything about this bathroom cabinet guys yo i'm obsessed guyona it functions so well the tap lona my only complaint is just that when the kids are there they splatter so much water on it guys this is my mirror when i said a spoiler alert my mirror broke guys but i was just like you know what this mirror is going up captain taco shine it's going up um i never get horny guys anyway guys thank you for watching i hope that you enjoyed this um bathroom update video please do like the video do subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed by now and please do comment down below guys with suggestions what to do with the shower leakage in the meantime yeah guys um i'll see you on my next one thank you so much for watching take care bye for now